force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Here, this is conductor whose length is L, area of cross section is A, and it carries current I. And this conductor makes angle theta with the direction of the magnetic field. Now, as we know from Lorentz force, that force on each charge will be Q V cross B or Q V B sine theta. Here, Q is charge on electron. Now, let's consider number of electrons in this conductor. So number of electrons in the conductor is suppose n, it will be equal to electron density, suppose n, into volume of the conductor. So area of cross section is A and the what length is so this is volume. So total number of charge carriers or electrons will be n times A L. So total force, so this is F1 for single electron. So total force is say F. So that will be n times q v b sine theta. So here we can put the value of n. N is n a l q v b sine theta. Here q can be written as e. So we can also write it as N A L E V and V can be replaced by V D drift velocity. V D V sine theta. Now if you remember I equal to N E A V D. So here N E A V D will be replaced by I. So B will be left with I L B sine theta. So F equal to B I L sine theta. And if we want to write it in vector form, so we can say I L plus B. So this is our required expression. Now, if you want to find out the maximum and minimum value of the force, so F minimum will occur when theta is either 180 degree or 0 degree, so it will be 0, and F maximum will occur when theta is 90 degree because sine 90 is 1. So, B I F. Now, Let's do some numericals based on this concept. A straight wire of mass 200 gram and length 1.5 meter carries a current of 2 ampere. It is suspended in mid air by a uniform horizontal magnetic field. Find the value of the magnetic field. The equation is shown here. The weight of the wire will act downward and the force on wire will act upward. The two will be equal. Only then the wire will remain suspended in air. So we can say that V I L sine theta must be equal to mg, weight of the wire. Here theta will be 90 degree because magnetic field is perpendicular downward and the force is upward. So here if you Take the force along y axis, then b will be along minus two. So that is why the angle between them is 90 degree. So we can write it b i l sine 90 is what equal to mg. Here our purpose is to get b to so be equal to mg divided by i l. We put the values. M is given as 200 gram, so 200 into 10 power minus 3 into G. G is 9.8 acceleration due to gravity divided by current. Current is 2 ampere and length of wire is 1.5 meter. So if we evaluate, we will get 0.65 Tesla. Now let's go to the next question. 
Next question is a wire of length 0.04 meter placed inside a solenoid near its center, making an angle 30 degree with axis carrying current. Means if this is axis, so wire is like this. This angle theta is 30 degree. This axis of solenoid. Now if the wire carries a current of 12 amperes, so information we can note. I equal to 12 ampere, theta equal to 30 degree. Magnetic field is given as 0 0.25 tesla. And uh, we have to find out what is force. So it is simple question. F equal to B I L sine theta. We can put the value. 0 0.25 i is 12 into length of wire is 0 0.04 into sine 30 degree and 30 is 1 by 0 0.25 into 12 into 0 0.04 into 1 by so this will be equal to 0.06 newton now let's go to next question next question says a short conductor of length 5 cm is placed parallel to a long conductor of length 1.5 meter near its center the conductors carry current 4 ampere and 3 ampere respectively in the same direction. What is the total force experienced by long conductor when they are 3 cm apart? Here, the length of smaller wire is 5 cm, whereas length of bigger wire is 1.5 meter. So, with respect to this 4 cm, sorry, 5 cm wire, this wire can be assumed to be of infinite length. So, we find magnetic field at the site of this wire due to this long wire. So, B due to long wire or infinite wire is given by mu zero i divided by 2 pi r. So, mu zero is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 and current is 3 ampere divided by 2 pi into separation. Separation is 0 0.0. .0. So this will come out to be 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla. So we have got magnetic field at the site of second wire. Now second wire, wire will experience a force and that force is F equal to B I L sine theta and theta will be taken as 90 degree. So B I L. So B magnetic field is this much 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 into current is 4 ampere in the second wire and uh, length of second wire is 5 centimeter 0 0.05 so if you evaluate you will get 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 which is our answer thank you for watching